Warm summer temperatures in Rochester means that there are more people outdoors enjoying the weather. When the thermometer rises, that sometimes also brings an increase in violence in our city. As of July this year, the number of shootings in the city of Rochester is up 82 percent compared to this time last year. In July of 2011, there were 61 shootings. This year, that number is now 111. With violent crime up, Mayor Tom Richards and Rochester Police Chief James Shepard announced a new detail of officers to be assigned to help prevent minor disagreements from escalating to violent behavior. We have a number of officers uh, assigned to a supervisor. They go into the areas that our data tells us that we have the most shootings or the most violence occurring. And they basically engage those people that we know are involved in gangs or involved in uh, disruptive behavior. Um, we also have our mounted unit out because we want to be engaging in the community. We also have our school resource officers out on bikes, out walking beats, just to, to have a greater presence in the areas that we need to be in. Chief Shepard stresses that this is not another zero tolerance operation. Uh, first off, I don't believe in zero tolerance as a method of policing. What I do believe is that for the people that are engaged in the violent behavior, the ones that are being disruptive in these neighborhoods, that we have to address them and we will address them and it will be zero tolerance for them. But we also realize that the good people out there in the city, they're, they're our allies. They're the ones whose back we have to have. And so we're not looking to harass. We're not looking to um, dominate those neighborhoods. We're looking to address the people that we know are involved in this violence. Funded with money from Operation Impact, officers assigned to cool down detail will focus on areas most affected by crime. Anglin calls Operation Cool Down a softer, gentler way of interacting with the community. She believes communicating with young people before they have a negative encounter with the police is the best way of building positive relationships with the RPD. While out on detail, Sergeant Anglin stopped by area businesses to talk to store owners and distribute posters about Operation Cool Down. Have you seen more police cars patrolling? How does that make you feel as a business owner? Pretty good? I like that. I like that. Well, this is part of the reason is this. We're doing a, a cool down detail, basically trying to be a little proactive, keep people from hanging in, in your store so that the, the families that want to come in here with their kids will come in here with their kids and they won't be reluctant to do that because people are hanging out over yeah. here or across the street that it's just okay kind of... It's okay now. We're clean now. But it's okay now. Yeah. Nice, you know, I love it. I right? like that. I, I like, like that. We're clean now. Okay. Before, too much. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Too much, brother. Too much. You know, yeah, so it's gotten better. Everything's better now, you know? Mm -hmm. Would you be so kind to put this in your window for me? No problem. I like that. Sure. All right. Anytime I do. Right. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Anytime, okay? I will do that. All right. Thank you. Operation Cool Down is making an impact, but the Rochester Police Department still needs the community's help. Please call 911 if you have information that can help curb the violence and arrest those that are disrupting our neighborhoods so we can all enjoy a safe, cool summer.